sometimes when you play support like myself, you're gonna end up with ADCs that are just terrible. They just go full autopilot mode, pushing waves without even thinking, and end up being ganked by the jungler. In this game, my Jinx was C run 4 at 9 minutes, so I had to make the hard decision of leaving her alone for the rest of the game while I roamed the entire map trying to create win conditions for my team. As a support, don't make the mistake of staying with your ADC till the end. If your ADC sucks, just leave them alone. You will have better chances of winning if you play around your stronger teammates. Just make sure you don't type or pin your ADCs to lower the chances of them running it down or going AFK. Okay, listen, I know Pantheon is not the best support out there, but I, I just have a lot of fun playing him. So, um, if you really want to climb and have fun at the same time, you should always play what you enjoy. Don't try to play always what's meta, because losing with champions that you don't enjoy playing, it's one of the worst feelings there is in League of Legends. Now, Ezreal and Thresh counter Pantheon, so our laning phase is gonna be very rough, but there are other ways we can win the game. Like, it doesn't have to be through the laning phase. I could also, like, roam. We'll see. This time I didn't go for the bush cheese because even though Pantheon is very strong, Jinx is not too strong level 1 and she also has cleanse and Ezreal has barrier so we might end up losing if I do uh, the trade on the bush so I'm chilling right now. I know that play might have looked horrendous to you, but I think if I flash a little bit earlier, Jinx might have been closer to auto-attack the Thresh and we could have gotten uh, Thresh's flash, but it took me too long to engage on the Thresh, so my bad there. Me and the Jinx should be playing safer right now because junglers tend to gank at 3.30, like that's the timer around uh, where they finish uh, clearing their camps, and as you can see, Echo is already here. Uh, Pantheon is very weak uh, when you get ganked because he doesn't have a lot of tools to, uh, you know, uh, fight against uh, getting ganked. So, yeah, the Jinx ended up dying. Ooh. Yeah, you're dead. As you can see, it's looking terrible for me and the Jinx, and it's not gonna get better anytime soon. Okay, actually, I could have uh, helped there, but I thought she was gonna die way sooner, so my bad there. So right now bot lane is over, but I see that our Jax is 3 and 0, oh, so I'm gonna play around our win condition so he can get even stronger, since going bot lane makes no sense right now. Remember, if you lose bot lane, it's not over. As a support, you can roam, you can go to mid lane or top lane and try to make plays happen. You see, by playing with our win conditions, we even managed to secure grubs. Yes, uh, the Jinx is getting dove bot lane, which sucks for her, but for the enemy team it's not even that worth, because Jinx already is not giving much gold. And you see, now Jax might get a double kill.
Now all we have to do is prevent the Renekton from returning to base and the game should be over. <laughs> and that's how you win with support when your lane goes to shit. You just roam and play around your win conditions. If you don't have any win condition on your team, then it's probably doomed. Now in this game, we're gonna be facing a Nami and a Saya. As you can see, I wasn't sure if we win level one because Tristana is quite slow at auto attacking, but she probably upgraded E, which is the bomb. So we'll see how the level one trade goes. Even I was surprised. I didn't think Nami was gonna die because she even had bomb plating and I didn't even use Ignite. That just shows how strong Pantheon is when paired with an ADC that has a strong burst level 1. Now as you can see I'm gonna help the Nocturne steal the enemy blue buff. You can do this whenever your lane is pushed. Especially if you're playing a strong support like Pantheon because you are gonna be able to kill the enemy jungler quite easily or at least make him use a summoner spell. Yeah, that play from the Saya was not worth at all because she flashed to kill me, but now she lost an entire wave. And the Tristan is getting plates. Now here I'm making a huge mistake because I'm putting deep wards, but not the enemy bot lane nor the jungler are present. And yeah. All of that happened because I couldn't wait till the Nami and the Saya and the Lee Sin appeared on the minimap. That's totally my fault. But it turns out Saya and Nami forgot I'm playing Pantheon. <clears throat> Here I'm also making a mistake because I should be mid lane with Tristana trying to get the objective which is the mid tower but instead I try to look for more kills. Tristana made a great play here because even if she joins, she can't do anything because it was a 4 versus 3. So good on the Tristana there. And I made another huge mistake here. I'm trying to help Nocturne get the enemy red buff, but Mordekaiser is not on the map. And as you can see, we get collapse here.
And that's why I enjoy playing Pantheon so much. I was able to kill Lee Sin with Yomus and the support item while he had two completed items already and plated scalps. And he was also three levels above me and he had ulti. Not our cleanest game by any means because we made a bunch of mistakes but we also made a lot of good plays around the map and that's what support is all about. You're like a budget jungler so just make plays happen around the map and you'll climb.